So I'm getting a much later start today than usual, even for me. Uh, I think I got started around 11.45 maybe. Um, but it's only 6.7 miles. I say only 6.7. And there is some up, obviously, but it's not too awful bad. I'm going up right now. <laughs> and up's always hard for me at this point, but we'll see. I think I should be at the shelter by six. The last shelter was lovely. Had so many people there, several of whom were through hackers. One of whom um, had done, I think this was his fourth time on the AT doing a through hike and he's done the whole PCT as well. So he had a dog with him. It was a nice visit with him. Um, anyway, and then there were a couple of locals as well. Um, the shelter had a great water source, had a good privy. So it was all good. The only thing is the cables, the bare cables were kind of messed up. So I just went ahead and used my op sack and hit it kind of under a log and covered it with leaves and hoped it would be okay. Supposedly you can do that with op sacks and it worked. So, uh, don't know though. Might've worked cause there were no bear around. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for right now. I don't know how much I'm going to film today. We'll see. Talk to you later. So I came from back this way. We've been on much more level ground for, I don't know, a little ways, not too far, but we have these mountains on the right. They're just, of course, gorgeous. I'm a little concerned about that mountain peak right there. I think that might be tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a tough day, but you can see Maybe you can see all these wild white flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. They're kind of, uh, they look a little purple um, in some lights and then white in others. But you can tell they just cover the whole forest ground. They're beautiful. And these trees are amazing. Just some uh, cool parts of the trail. Going around rocks and tree roots and I mean that's a lot of trail tree roots but it curves around up this way and around another tree and then down that way and then back around this way some mud from previous rain and you see this is what I'm getting into Still not too rough, but I'll turn off the video. Well, I just came around those little rocky trail bits that I was showing you, and I came up on this, and what's the big joke? This is an iconic part of Big Butt Mountain. <laughs> so apparently this rock was one rock, and then it split in two, and the name of this mountain is Big Butt. I do still have about a half a mile to the peak, but uh, I wanted to share this with you because it's iconic and look how cool. Okay, so more of the white blazes. I did learn just this morning that these ones that are stacked on each other, I always knew they meant to go straight. But um, what I didn't know is that they're usually in spots where um, there's something else. And you can see, if, I don't know if this used to be an old logging road or what, but it goes up that way, and then it goes back to this way, so you could get confused here, <coughs> pardon me, and then if I look ahead, there's that white blaze to show me, yep, it's straight, any, many, many, mo, which way am I supposed to go, I guess I'll figure it out, well, I took the wrong way. <laughs> oh my God. I'm back on the path again. 
but wow, it was really confusing. It was not marked and um, I guess it was a blowdown, so that made it even more confusing, but I'm on the correct path again. So thank goodness. Woohoo! Man, Big Butt Mountain. Whew. That kicked my tail, just like uh, the mountain yesterday. I forgot the name of it all of a sudden. That had a bunch of technical aspects to it. Big Butt Mountain, it wasn't as long as the other one was. So it would have been easier than the other one had I not taken the wrong path. However, I wasn't on the wrong path too long, just maybe a couple hundred feet or something, but because of the shape of the path I took, it made it much more difficult. But this is what Big Butt Mountain looks like after you come off the top and you're heading down. I don't know. I guess I'm going back into some shrubs. Let's hope there's not a whole bunch more rocks. Woo! Now here's a more pleasant part of the hike when you're coming off of mountains and it's not just like straight down. It's a little bit more slopey. Um, it's cooler here and the trail is smoother. So, uh, thank you. I needed a little bit of relief from the previous up. Um, so, although these downs really hurt my feet, but they'll toughen up. It's okay. Woo! I'm out here. Well, I have to say, this is what it's all about right here. A good part of it anyway. So in these days in the first few weeks where I'm really struggling to get my trail legs, that always gives me inspiration. It makes me remember one of the reasons that I'm out here. Because this is amazing. And so many people don't get to do this. So many people don't want to do this, but there's nothing like being out here and seeing the beauty that's all around you and smelling nature and getting reset. And I think once I get past trying to get through each day to get my trail legs, hopefully I'll have some time to really ponder some things that I want to ponder about my life. This area is just magnificently beautiful. There's a lot of blowdowns where trees have died and storms have come through. But man, it's pretty in here. And still lots of forest left. Wow. Well, I decided to go ahead and get water here. I still have a couple of miles, probably close, maybe two and a half miles left to shelter. Maybe even closer to three. I can't quite remember. And I do have some water, but this is where I decided to stop. I didn't take off my pack. And I got down there. And don't know if you can really see it well. But there's where somebody strategically placed a leaf that helps you get a flow for your water. Thank you, whoever did that. Thank you. I'm at my shelter. And an almost full moon is coming up over the mountain. It's too bad you can't see it better. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. It's right there. Beautiful great group of people here at this shelter i'm just really excited to get my tent up and and get in the tent i've had my dinner and i've visited and now it's time to 
get cozy in my tent.